A camel festival in one of the remotest regions of Mongolia's Gobi Desert is in part of a celebration of the country's ancient nomadic culture, but is also in a bit to revive the camel population, which has seen a decline in recent years due to the impact of the 21st century life. Li Chun has more. 300 Bactrian camels and around a thousand herders gathered in Mongolia's Gobi Desert for this year's festival. For herders who may live many miles from their nearest neighbors, it's one of the few opportunities they get to meet each other. Despite freezing temperatures, herders competed in a 22-kilometer camel race across the desert. Most of the riders are teenagers or children aged between 6 and 16 years old. Their lighter weight ensures greater speed and more comfort for the camels. <laughs> Bachelor Nergi's camel, ridden by his 15-year-old nephew, won this year's competition. At the start of the race, the camel was leading. By the middle, it started to get tired, but after that, it was all fine and we won. In previous years, the prize was cash. However, this year, the organizers decided to give camel wool products instead, in a bid to raise awareness among herders of new ways of monetizing their camels. From camel products such as wool, we can make clothes. From the milk, we can make dairy products. I think we need to pay more attention to what camels can produce. Generally, camel dairy products are very beneficial for human health. The variety of dairy products that can be made from camel milk is increasing. The festival also aims to improve living conditions of Gobi residents and preserve nomadic culture through wildlife and water conservation. It was first held 14 years ago in response to a significant decrease in the camel population. Just 40 years ago, we had over 800,000 camels, but within that short period of time, it dropped down to 200,000. And that's related to uh, animals uh, are not used for transportation anymore because they were replaced with the cars. Um, and uh, we realized that we had to do something about it uh, to save these majestic creatures. Currently, Mongolia is estimated to be home to 350,000 domestic Bactrian camels and only 500 wild camels, mainly in the Gobi Desert. Still, since the festival's inception, camel numbers have rebounded. After uh, 13 years of um, organizing this festival, last year we got the statistics and it shows that in this region, the camel number increased by 101 percent, which is a very much awarding um, uh, information. As the Bactria mating season draws to a close, the festival also included a parade and beauty pageant to show off the most suitable sires to father for the next generation of camels. Li Chong, CCTV.